I'm a beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm very excited because it's time to try a new foundation and review new foundation and I love doing that. And today we are going to review the new Milani Screen Queen, Screen Queen foundation. And if you want to see how this is going to work on my skin and what I think about it, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this foundation I've been out for a while. It's newest from Milani and I just bought it because I was out of my foundation that actually suits my skin tone right now. And I always love to try new. So today I'm going to try this screen cream and this is natural finish foundation. I do have it in shade 220 natural beige and it has digital blue light filter, whatever that means. It says it's a that it is a luminous natural skin finish, bl blurable light to medium coverage and long wear. I love everything that says long wear. So let's dig in and let's try this foundation. I did had a hard time to kind of find a shade that matches me, but I went to for 220. I did got a couple of foundation. I actually got also new that I want to try. It's not new, but new for me. This is Camouflage Catrice All Matte Foundation. I also bought another of the Catrice HD Liquid Cover Foundation that I already emptied and I had in my last empty videos. I needed to have new. I bought the Marlani and also I got the Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation that I'm going to review after reviewing this. So I'm going to try this one tomorrow. It's a little bit darker deeper shade, but we'll make it work with some light concealer. But today we are here to try this, uh, this one foundation, this foundation. And let's just uh, prime my skin. I already, I filmed a couple of videos today, so we're going to see this makeup look, clothes and hair in a couple of the videos. I'm going to use Milk Hydro uh, Primer. This primer is so good. It's actually worth the money. I do still love my hourglass hourglass primer but this one is a little bit sticky and i've been using it quite a while so i know how foundation are working on it i tried the isadora foundation the new one that i really like it has spf in it uh, and that foundation actually doesn't really like this primer it goes very well with other primers that i own but not actually this one so i want to try the maloney one and actually don't have a clean foundation brush sorry guys so i'm going to use my beauty blender but let's take it's i have three pumps it's very thick I don't remember, I've seen people, I've seen videos that people review this foundation, but I didn't watch any of those videos. And I usually use the sponge, so I'm going to go with the sponge today to try this. Mm. Of course, the sponge is not going to give me the same coverage as the brush. But I can't feel this foundation on the skin at all. Shade match is not bad. Three small pumps of the foundation and I have covered half of my face. And this is de definitely looks like my skin, medium coverage, not full at all, full at all. Full at all. And it looks pretty nice on my skin though, I have to say. I do like how it sits on my skin, or not sits, but it looks like it sank into my skin uh, without any problem. So I do like how it looks so far. I am actually going to build it up. It does look nice, but it sits kind of strangely here. I don't know why. Um, you get it like that, but I'm going to build up this foundation i mean it's very thick and i use a lot of the foundation so 
So I have to say now I did build it up uh, the to the coverage that I really like and it looks really nice on the skin though this foundation has a really strange texture it's thick it's almost like mousse and I don't know if it really like as this primer but it doesn't look bad it looks like my skin doesn't look like I have plenty of foundation on but I did build it up quite a lot and I did use a lot of the foundation the sponge probably soaked up a lot of foundation maybe I should go with a brush and then try to make it even with a sponge because I had to use a lot of pumps to get this coverage but it doesn't bother me if the foundation really works for me so I'm going to use concealer to finish my makeup look right now it's it's 4 p.m actually and i know it's a little bit late to try the foundation but i am going to wear it at least six hours and do a check-in so i'm going to finish my makeup and i'll be right back okay guys so now it's 4 30 and i just finished my makeup and i have to say that there are some things that i like and do not like about this foundation the first thing i uh Let's see, I have some fallout from the eyeshadow. What do I like about this foundation? Well, I like that it's lightweight. I can't even feel it on my skin. It looks very nice and it sank into my skin beautifully. I can't feel it. And uh, it looks like I have a filter on my face. Uh, it, feels like, it looks like I don't actually wear foundation except my under eyes. For some, I did use the Tarte Shape Tape and I do like this concealer, but for some reason, this concealer and this foundation don't like each other, not on my face. Maybe it's because of the primer, um, hydro primer, maybe that has something to do with it. I don't use the primer under my eyes though. So it looks like this concealer is a little bit too heavy for this foundation. I first thought that they would go well together because this foundation was thick and I had to use a lot of it to build it up so I felt like I used a lot of foundation so I went with a heavy thick concealer maybe this will work a little bit better if I used another more light concealer which I will do definitely next time I wear this foundation but so far I like the shade I like the foundation a lot everything else went smoothly on I also tried the cream product the cream blush and also Natasha Denona cream blush but also the new Larizzi cream cream um, bronzer that I got contour bronzer that I got from my glossy box for April month uh, I used the blood sugar palette on my eyes today because it's been a long time since I used it and I wanted to use it again wait this eyelash doesn't want to work with me uh, but everything else looks really really good on my lips I do have the new the new urban glow gloss on my lips is the only thing I do have I don't have any lip liner or anything else except the urban glow lip gloss in shade pink lemonade and I really like this look I really like this makeup look it looks beautiful um, I really also feel this foundation is very lightweight so I've been having it on for half an hour and everything looks really good there is some fallout from the from the eyeshadow that I used but otherwise except the concealer that it feels like it doesn't really want to go with this foundation everything else goes looks very very nice so I'm going to wear this the whole day and I go will check in and tell you guys after a couple of hours how it actually looks on my skin but so far so good I did set my face with an available magic setting spray from L'Oreal I love that I don't know if I said but this is cruelty free and vegan uh, formula so that's also good if you're looking for that glass packaging I don't know if I'm a big fan or not but it's better than plastic so otherwise we'll see everything else looks good it looks really nice on my skin it looks like I don't have or feels like I don't have foundation that's really nice it looks like I have a filter or something I'm not right now repeating myself so I will go and film more videos and I'll be back to do a check-in so see you soon hi family I'm back and it's around 10 almost 10 p.m 
and I had this foundation on for around six hours. So let's take off my glasses and see how it's looking. I've been eating um, dinner and having some drinks and also try not to touch my face. The only thing I retouched is actually the lips. I put a lip liner and I think I have this LA Girl lip liner in shade uh, pinky and then on top I went over with this pink lemonade the urban glow lip gloss that I really really enjoy and really like I like it more than I thought I would but surprisingly they last a long time and they fade very nicely okay my voice is kind of giving up a little bit on me today or this evening but this is how my face looks and I haven't touched it tried not to touch it at all and everything looks very nice it looks a little bit strange on the nose i know it looked like that before too but where i had my glasses it disappeared but everything else looks very nice i do look more shiny not greasy or oily it just is it's just that that my natural oils have come through and everything looks more dewy um, I'm not hating it. I think it looks beautiful and I really really like this foundation. I think this foundation is amazing. I really like it and after six hours it looks kind of this good. So I could definitely maybe retouch a little bit, take off the shine and then it with some powder and it voila would look like I just applied it which is surprisingly good i really enjoy this foundation though i still regret the concealer that i have on top of it but other because my eyes look dry and heavy but everything else looks very very nice i do really enjoy this foundation really enjoy soon i'm going to review the ofra foundation i think i will film that tomorrow but if you're interested don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that um, but yeah, I really really like this foundation. It looks like I just applied it and it looks like it's a luminous foundation. So it goes very nice with the um, primer, though I will definitely try my autumn favorite, this one veil from um, Hourglass, but I do really like this too. I do like all from cover effects also that my friend Valerie sent to me. I really like that one too. But I'm trying to use up the milk one first. I don't have any filter on so you can really see my skin and really see my texture. I do have textured skin. I'm not hiding that. I do have fine lines. I'm still I'm not hiding that either. I want to be honest guys with you. I want to show you everything the real thing so you really know what you're buying what you're getting for your money. So this is how my face looks after six hours with this foundation. I like having my foundation nose at least for 10, 11 hours before I do reviews, but this time it's kind of late. I really like it, very good foundation. Guys, please let me know down below if you try Milani foundation, what do you think about it? Have you tried any other foundations from Milani? Let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all, bye guys.